Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be giving you a full review of the Ronco Showtime Rotisserie and Barbecue. Now a lot of you have heard about this before. Set it and forget it. Right? Right. <laughs> um, I'm actually quite honored to do this review because when I was a kid, um, I remember watching the commercial on it and the inventor was on there talking about all the different types of things. You saw all the chickens and the very back ribs. I mean, it just had a beautiful presentation of food and it was just something that I always wanted and after all these years, my wish has finally been granted. So I am very, very excited about doing this review and I definitely want to thank uh, the people at Ron Koo for uh, granting my wish. I'm very excited about doing this review. Now for this review, we'll be doing uh, one test, which is the um, whole chicken. Like how you see it back here, it's uh, back in the uh, rotisserie. And uh, we're gonna do that one test. And from there, um, we're gonna give it an overall grade and my personal opinion about it. So let's get started with the review. Here is the Ronco Showtime Rotisserie. 4000 series. It has dimensions of 18 inches width, 13 inches in height, and 14 inches in depth. It has a 15 pound cooking capacity, dial timer, heat shield, and 120 volts. This rotisserie has an all metal design with an exception of the timer that's hard plastic and the glass door. This rotisserie comes with, of course, the rotisserie itself, a tempered glass door, a non-stick drip tray and grate cover, a spit rod assembly which includes the gear wheel and the spit rods, a rotisserie basket, a heat shield, oven gloves, carving platform, food ties and a recipe and instructional booklet. Now at the beginning it tells you everything you need to know about the rotisserie. Now toward the back of the booklet it has all of the recipes. All the parts are dishwasher safe with an exception of the gloves and carving platform. Now I recommend that you wash all your parts with soap and water and you also want to do this before you begin your first operation of your rotisserie and make sure that they're dry. We're going to first start by plugging in the rotisserie. We're going to install the heat shield. Slide it right into the back of your rotisserie and it should fall right in place. Add your grate cover and drip tray at the bottom of your rotisserie. For the spit rod assembly, add the spit rods into the two holes in the gear wheel as shown here. And it should fit right in place. Add your spit rod assembly into your rotisserie. Now as you can see, they can go to a position A for normal sized foods and position B for small foods. Add the spit rod assembly into position A. And this is how it looks when we're done. For the rotisserie basket, there are four levels you can place the top portion of the basket on as shown here. Line the front and back sections of the top portion of the basket onto your desired level of the basket. Add the back portion first, then pull the lever to secure the basket in place. Now, as you can see, the basket is pretty secure. To add the basket onto the spit rod assembly, add the spit rods into the holes located on the sides of the basket. And there we have it. Now we're going to add the gear wheel. And you're all set. 
To install the glass door, add the small rods into the holes located at the bottom right and left hand corners of your rotisserie. This rotisserie has a timer which can go to 3 hours max and it also has a roast, sear and no heat setting. Now I'm going to turn on the rotisserie to show you how it operates. And this is how it looks when we have the rotisserie turned on. To test the rotisserie, today we're going to be doing a 5 pound chicken as shown here. I've already seasoned my chicken, now we're going to add the zip ties onto the chicken. We're going to add the spit rods into the chicken. And it should go all the way through. Now I'm going to add the gear wheel in place. Now I'm going to add the chicken into the rotisserie and I'm going to add it into slot A. Now I'm going to add the glass door in place. Now for this chicken, I'm cooking a 5 pound chicken so I'm going to select the roast option and I'm going to roast this chicken for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Okay, time is up. I'm going to remove my chicken out of the rotisserie. Make sure you use the oven gloves that came with the rotisserie as the chicken and the rotisserie will be hot. Now I'm going to check the temperature. The temperature of my chicken should be in between 160 and 165 degrees. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut you a slice just to show you how it looks on the inside. Oh wow, look at that. Turned out beautifully. Nice and juicy. You can see some of that butter that we injected in there. Oh my goodness, this rotisserie did an awesome job. And I actually had a piece of this chicken. Oh, it's one of the juiciest chickens I ever had. Delicious. Here is my overall opinion and grade of the Ronco Showtime Rotisserie 4000 series. This rotisserie is a really good machine. The results of my 5 pound chicken were amazing. The chicken was nice, tender, flavorful, and juicy. Now some of you may have noticed that my wing tips were kind of burnt, but that's because I failed to tie them down with the food ties that came with this machine. I really love this product and I highly recommend it to anyone. If you want to purchase this machine, visit www.ronco.com. I'll have the link to the website in the comment section and in the description box. In my opinion, the money that you're going to pay for this original 4000 series machine, you're actually getting more for your money. Plus, you can buy other parts to add to your machine. For the overall grade, I give this machine an A++++++. I love it. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Again, I want to send a special thank you out to the people of Ronco for giving me the opportunity to review your product. Thank you so much. I've always wanted this since I was a kid. I love it. It's amazing. Thank you. Until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.